Hi, welcome everyone to our YouTube channel, A Ogri Organics. In this video, Lokesh Varan is with us. He did his uh, UG from TNAU and he did the MSc in Plant Physiology at uh, University of Agricultural Sciences, Bengaluru. And uh, currently he is doing his PhD in Plant Physiology at uh, Tamil Nadu Agriculture University. Welcome Lokesh Varan. You can Hi, introduce sir, yourself evening. and you can share your uh, experience at the TNAU mm -hmm. during your UG, MSc in GKVK and your current experience in TNAU. I did my UG from AC and Reach and Gote. I was the third batch. We were the third batch to that college. Even though it was a newly established college, we have uh, they have been continuously struggling to build up the uh, facilities. So when we uh, when we went for the final year, we almost had all the facilities, including uh, laboratories for each and every department, uh, and uh, separate hostels and uh, newly started canteen, as well as uh, well uh, built uh, library, as well as uh, classrooms and other infrastructure facilities uh, so ug coaching and ug life was uh, better and uh, uh, i i was not aware about uh, ug icr ug scholarship so i didn't give any exam i was dependent only on the government given scholarship but when i went to pg uh, the other uh, the other state students were very well aware about the uh, ug scholarships given by the icr so there were many students from other state compared to uh, Tamil Nadu state. Students utilized the UG scholarship given by ICR to uh, get familiarized and as well as to get uh, aware of it. I was, I was very much decided to, anyway, I, I'll be pursuing my PG uh, starting from my UG itself. But I was not sure about the subject. Uh, during my second year, I was interested in environmental sciences. And during the third year, when we were introduced about the plant biotechnology technology course, my interest was fully shifted towards uh, uh, plant biotechnology. So uh, to gain more knowledge about that, I took plant physiology as optional course in the eighth semester. And uh, my course teacher was uh, Dr. Bhumi Nadan. Actually, he did his PG from uh, GKVK. So he used to tell us about uh, the campus. Like he, uh, like he'll be telling us about the uh, about his experiences in when he was studying. So I got very much inspired, and I decided like if I I am pursuing PG. I should be doing that in GKVK. So I decided like to to study. And when I inquired, they told me like uh, plant physiology is the best department in GKVK. And it is the best university to study uh, plant physiology. So I decided to pursue my PG in uh, GKVK, PG in plant physiology in GKVK. But uh, I, I was also aware that it, it required some uh, extra efforts to get placed in that particular university. So like, as like everybody, I I didn't prepare uh, very well from the third year, and uh, my my main uh, fortune was I I got so so much of uh, time during the COVID uh, lockdown. So we went uh, we went home by March 17, and as soon as I went home, I started preparing for my PG exams. So uh, uh, at uh, daily about I I'll spend about five to six hours approximately per day. And it was uh, continuous for about uh, six months. So that was uh, sufficient for me to get my seat secured in uh, GKVK. I got uh, 86th rank. Uh, like I was not sure like 86th rank is a uh, little too far to dream about GKVK. So I thought I'll, I'll not get GKVK. I was telling my friends and uh, staff like I'll give other universities as first preference. So they told me like, you, no, 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 like you just keep IRE and GKVK in first and second places. If you get, then you'll be lucky. So I just kept it as, uh, I kept IRA first preference and GKVK in the second choice. So in the first round itself, I was allotted to the uh, GKVK campus. So uh, I got uh, NTS scholarship. Plant physiology at GKVK was uh, more than my expectations. Like it, uh, it was like a dream coming true. So uh, I, ha I had learned so many things, like how, uh, like, it, it actually decided like you uh, you will be going towards this career you will be you will be focusing on this thing and uh, uh, that helped me to have uh, deeper roots on plant physiology and it helped me to decide to to help me like decide like uh, you have to do pst anyways and uh, this is your career uh, because after joining gkvk uh, after one month i got a uh, job offer from IDBA bank as uh, assistant manager post I, I was I was offered from TNIU through campus interview uh, but I didn't choose to go to uh, uh, to become a bank employee I decided to stay there in GKVK 
and i pursued my msc uh, one more opportunity which i got uh, uh, in jkvk was i was selected to do my research in ihr icr ihr so there uh, so i did my course work in jkvk and one year of research work in ihr so there i came to uh, I, there i met uh, so many other scientists and so many other people from uh, my own state as well as from other different states and different university students also were like, like they were also working with me in my lab as well as in the uh, other labs in the uh, institute so that was uh, an other, other experience which gkvk gave me uh, I, i still gkvk has mous with uh, ihr so if uh, there are sufficient number of students they'll be allotting research to ihr as well as in other institutes as well gkvk has uh, mous with um, nb nbs and lup and ihr and so many other institutes few uh, there are uh, so many things that i like about gkvk but to mention a few uh, the the campus infrastructure like we'll be having uh, a, a very beautiful campus it was like i think most people might have might be aware of it already and we also have a very very well library and it will be opened until night 12 or uh, 2 am so we can get access to it any day long and the climate and the uh, people and and jkvk as whole is will will also will always be my favorite actually you mentioned about uh, jkvk okay, the demo use so it is also having a mou with our uh, institute i am also doing my research in mou with uh, national institute of biotech stress management it is located in baramati in maharashtra so uh, there are also some two students from jkvk they are doing research some some of my colleagues are there and another one thing is uh, you mentioned about uh, university so in a university location everything so it is one of the such a wonderful great university already we have uploaded uh, two to three videos of uh, gkvk so you can watch that video in our channel also if you search uh, uas bangalore or gkvk like that you can get our video so in that video also i covered most part of uh, gkvk so like that uh, getting seat that particular environment so everything is uh, very good as compared to other universities what i have seen so that one thing i want to interact so on the nearby some other institutes and uh, other icr institutes so then if you go for some other uh, subjects uh, ncbs is nearby so some of the students are doing okay. research at ncbs it is one of uh, the institutes of tata institute of fundamental research and uh, some of my friends uh, they are doing research at indian institute of science my friend is there uh, he is sandeep now he is doing uh, so he is uh, doing the search at uh, some objectives he is doing at indian institute of science so that facilities and all we can get okay lokeshwaran you told about your uh, msc then how you prepared for uh, your phd and uh, you can tell about your scholarships also i so i decided to do phd uh, as soon as entering my second semester of my msc so uh, my seniors instructed me like without scholarships phd life will be difficult so i started preparing to crack the scholarship exams from uh, the second semester itself but i was not consistent like i'll be pre- preparing for a month or uh, a month or two then i'll be dropping it so uh, i was very inconsistent so and as a result i was not able to crack any of the scholarship exams uh, in in during my msc uh, as well as in my uh, in the first year of my phd so uh, in the in the verge of completing my msc i i wrote uh, icr as well as uh, tnu state entrance exam so i kept tnu as my backup as my backup so if i didn't get ira i, I decided that, that i will be going to uh, tnu uh, so i didn't get ira so i went to tnu through state entrance examination i uh, but at that time of uh, in, entering tnu i was not having any scholarships but uh, there was an announcement that tnu will provide university scholarship for uh, phd scholars uh, starting from second year a sum of uh, 20000 20000 rupees per month starting from second year to uh, the end of third year even though uh, i was sure that university will give me scholarships i always wanted a scholarship like my own my own um, scholarship so uh, i did two, two things one is to prepare for uh, entrance exam like csar ugc as well as icr the other is to write proposals and get project and get project and uh, a fellowship for myself so i have applied for uh, four five proposals 
the i entered on i entered tnu on january so january i applied for bayer fellowship so bayer gave gave us uh, 40000 rupees per month so i applied i didn't uh, qualify for the interview so i left it then in the month of march i applied for a chief minister research grant that was a new scheme introduced by the tamil nadu government on the, uh, that particular year that was the first time that the government is announcing that particular scholarship so i i wrote a proposal and i sent uh, the proposal to them but uh, the result has not yet been declared so far so i'm still waiting and then i applied for uh, uh, world vegetable center uh, that was their golden jubilee year so they announced some scholarships so i applied uh, uh, they have given this, uh, several topics so i have dis- i have selected two topics and i have justified why i have selected uh, de- selected particularly those two topics and fortunately i was selected for the interview round so i went for the interview and but in the interview i was uh, unfortunately that i didn't uh, qualify the interview round so i was not selected but one of my msc juniors uh, he got selected and he is now doing his research in taiwan so later uh, after the world vegetable center uh, scholarship i applied for jnmf scholarship so in jnmf also i didn't uh, get the scholarship so i i was not selected for the interview round so then i was uh, I, i i i kept on preparing for my exams like uh, csr ugc like every time i'll go uh, go near the benchmark like i'll get some 90 91 percentile in csr and ugc i'll be missing their exam by some 10 to 20 questions then uh, i was parallelly i was preparing for icr because in icr even though uh, if you're if you're during your second year also you can get icr you can retain the university where you were studying and still you can get fellowships for the next two years without changing university and you'll also be not losing your one year of uh, coursework so it was uh, it was something good for me so i prepared icr and then i was able to crack it i got uh, under rank 10 and obc rank 6 and even though i got under rank 10 i was i was very sure that i'll not get this scholarship because there are only four to five scholarships for uh, the plant physiology department so since i got 10th rank i was very sure that i will not get scholarship so i was preparing for other exams on we wrote exam on july 9 and on april uh, 10 i got a mail from icr that you, i have been selected for this particular uh, srf fellowship so uh, i was very fortunate that i got my srf scholarship and now i'm uh, getting the scholarship and uh, tnu in apart from uh, this 20000 rupees per month scholarship it is also giving some schemes wherein you can get uh, the sr from 30 30000 rupees per month if there are any schemes available and if you are uh, meeting out some uh, criteria that the university demands you can get that uh, that much amount and uh, same as gkvk tnu also has very good infrastructure and it has uh, i think uh, tnu has more mous with uh, com- compared to um, several universities across india uh, because i was I, able to participate in the world vegetable center uh, f- fellowship program and uh, even now even like apart from physiology there are students from several departments they are doing their part of uh, doing part of their research in uh, uh, world vegetable center and several other institutes uh, and for and Uh, when i actually from my batch they have introduced so many things like um, we have to publish um, review papers as well as research papers and they are all, they are actually helping us to get it published and i think this was uh, this is missing in um, other universities like they are actually conducting workshops and they are uh, allocating some resource persons uh, particularly for each selected field and they are training us a little uh, not not a little bit they are training us well to write and publish a paper and they are also uh, supporting us financially for publishing papers in my department we uh, almost have uh, several instruments like many instruments both portable as well as other instruments handheld instruments we have uh, the latest instruments uh, for example if we take uh, portable photosynthetic system like uh, in most places we will be having that like or but here we have the advanced instrument like cad pps so they'll be updating us with the new instruments and we also have different uh, laboratories for different types of researches to be carried out
uh, same like professors department most most departments in any are well equipped so we can carry out better research thank you lokesh sir for sharing your such a great experience at tnau and zkvk and then again at tnau like this many opportunities are there and with regard to mous also you told many students are in my contact from tnau because for last 3 to 4 years we are guiding for icr and other fellowship and other tna entrance like that so everyone will be posting something at a different parts of the world not only in tamil nadu they will be today also one girl posted a status in malaysia like that someone recently posted at ikrisat and uh, someone at simmet so like that many people are posting in some place yeah. that means uh, i am telling about uh, whatsapp uh, whatsapp post not a job post so so like that students are getting exposure to different places so these things uh, we have to consider and with regard to publications also anyway students are getting some good publications if they want to go for any other jobs especially in the scientific field uh, they want publications so that publication will be sure helpful in higher studies or in the scientific field so these things also we have to consider actually your experience was uh, very good especially with related to fellowship many people are struggling like this especially those who have got seat through icr icr should uh, give some fellowship for phd candidate also if they have not selected for sr so that thing that thing i sure should t- consider at least from this year because many students they are uh, away from the home they were uh, they are suffering without fellowship many of our uh, students they are applying for several fellowship because we are if i get any information about any fellowships immediately i will share in our groups or i will upload on video recently also we are uploading but uh, these many fellowships are there so how student has struggled for getting fellowship so everything uh, especially i learned from you i hope that our subscribers also will understand from you and they will take all this from your experience thank you lokeshwaran for uh, giving such a wonderful interview yes sir thanks sir